So yeah, good to see you again. And good to see you too. For everyone watching, um, this is Chris. He's the owner of Larry's Independent, which is an auto repair shop in California. Yep, Mission uh, Viejo. Yeah, and uh, you came on board with New Limits basically to generate more leads. That was the the whole yeah. purpose of it. Um, and so, yeah, over this, in this video, we're just going to go through and just talk about your experience with New Limits because I think that's going to be good okay. for other people watching. Um, sure. So, yeah, in terms of, like, why did you get into owning an auto repair shop in the first place? What was the main motivation? Well, I had been a mechanic in an industrial setting um, most of my career, and I've always loved mechanical aspects to it. Um, so I, and I've always kind of had a side hustle. Yeah. And so I've always had a side business or something. So I ended up retiring early and decided to go into looking for a business. And that felt like it would be a fun, you know, career second career because i yeah. enjoyed mechanics okay yeah awesome that's so, similar yeah. to myself always always had different side hustles yeah uh, and i i personally think like once you get the taste for it like you don't you don't lose it <laughs> yeah you, know, you always yeah that's so true you know um but so yeah that's true. awesome and yes. what was the biggest challenge you had being an auto repair shop owner in terms of lead generation and sales so basically oh. lead generation and conversion of, of, of leads prior to working with us just in general yeah. Um, the biggest challenge you say? Yeah. I think um, managing like all the tasks and within the business and trying to, to uh, deal with like the advertising and all that. It was yeah. just, it, there's just not time. And, and uh, I didn't have enough, um, you know, education on it either. Cause there's always changes. And so I think that was the biggest challenge and, you know, getting in, you know, you always have to have new customers coming in, you know? Yeah. If, especially yeah. if you want to expand. So for sure. So, yeah. so yeah, you know, juggling like wearing multiple hats as a business owner, it's like hard to dive very deep into one thing. And for example, like right. generation, there's Google, Facebook, yeah. um, there's paid advertising, organic advertising. So you think a, a, a limitation so was many. like just not having enough time and definitely not enough with... time, but also, I mean, I had, I mean, I, I could do it a little bit, but you know, I basically, my, my, the only advertising I did was basically Google ads. And yep. so I put out, you know, I'd set my ad budget and like just roll the dice and hope for the best. And yep. I didn't have, um, I didn't know what my ROAS was, um, uh, no idea whether it was even working, you know, I mean, I might see a, a new call, but it didn't specifically mean that it was coming from the Google app. Yeah. It could have been a referral or something else. So um, I think also I always had in my mind, like you have this ad you put out on Google yourself and, you know, you're getting charged per click. It can vary. And then yeah. you you wonder if your competition is, you know, they could they could run out your ad budget pretty quick if they wanted to. Sure. Yeah. You know. So th there's a lot of, I guess, um, challenges like running running the ads yourself, right? Like, so basically what you're talking about is not really knowing what is working. So not having the clarity. Um, right. And that really limits people because you, if, if you don't know what's working, you don't know what to invest more into. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, I, so I, you know, maybe kept a pad to say that's a possible lead I got from my ad. So that's, but I really didn't know, sure. you know? And when you guys came on uh, and took it over for me, um, you know, you had data to back it up. And I could I could definitely see a difference very shortly after you started. Yeah. But showing showing me the data was absolutely, you know, proof that it was working. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely and what also, a lot of clients like about our offering. It's just that full transparency on yeah. all inbound calls and emails. Yeah. Um, yeah. So why did you kind of decide to work with us in the first place? What were the main things prior to kind of knowing how the system works? Um, it was just a, a sales call, really. So what made you make that yeah. decision? Because there's so many different agencies out there, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I don't know. I, I guess once I talked to you, I realized how your business, uh, I, I felt like I've worked with other advertising agencies doing various things, but it Pretty much when you got started, that was it. And, and then, you know, you'd see the withdrawal out of your account every month. 
but I never spoke to anyone. And you guys had it set up where I'd be having a, a like a weekly meeting. You know, as time went on, it, it was able to be a little further apart because things were getting, you know, a lot better and we just need to make small adjustments. But um, that was that was the main thing. Yeah. You know, okay, cool. Like, so so basically yeah. frequent communication. Um, yeah. Had you spoken to other agencies prior to making the decision to work with us, though? Yeah, I did. I'd spoken to many of them because I knew that that was um, a problem in my business, mm. knowing that I, you know, when you have, you know, eventually you have customers that move out of state, you lose customers, you know, yeah. hopefully not because we did anything wrong, but it's just how, how it operates or, you, or customers yeah. might get a new car, yeah. but you're not going to see them for a while. So you have to replace those customers. And if you want to expand, which I did, um, you've got to have new customers. Yeah, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. exactly. You, you can do a great job in terms of giving your customers a great experience, but yeah, like yeah. you said, for, for whatever reason, maybe they purchase a car, a brand new car. Now they go to the, um, the dealership, right. For ongoing repairs yep. and maintenance, or they yep. move to different locations. So always yeah. having like a top of funnel approach to generate leads, like in for any sure. is important. Right. Yeah. Um, and also with referrals and, and word of mouth. And also like, obviously you probably did a bit of SEO or Google map optimization and stuff. Yeah. Um, but you can't go and like double or triple that overnight. You can't scale. Right. It, right. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you only, you're limited to, you know, absolutely the best SEO you have. That's, that's all you can do. Sure. And then it's just a, a roll of the dice after that. Yeah. So, so yeah. And basically you came on board the 90 day auto shop growth accelerator program that we yeah. offer. Um, yep. and in terms of doing that, uh, in terms of your experience with it, like what was the onboarding process like, um, and account management process like, and just before I, we dive into that, I just want to clarify for the viewers, our system primarily uses paid advertising via Google, which means that, you know, within seven days we have campaigns running leads coming through and it's scalable yeah. as well. So yeah, that's, what, that's about what I was going to say. Once I got on board, I, I like um, you turned it over to um, to Sam. Yeah. Um, we kind of went over things and and kind of you were getting uh, getting everything set up for me. And then it, it didn't take a week before I started seeing leads. I, I don't even remember if it was that long. Um, although as time went on and it wasn't very long, um, these leads started growing because you were kind of looking at the data and optimizing it to mm. where we're not wasting money on uh, campaigns that weren't really pulling mm -hmm. and you know you would switch things over so that really made a big difference i don't remember where my um my cost per lead was when i started but i know we got it down to i think it was around 35 bucks a lead and mm. at my shop our 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 job average is about 800 bucks so Average you can imagine order. that's, yeah. And yeah. that's not a one-time, you know, price. I mean, these people will come back. They have met multiple cars, yeah. um, friends and neighbors and stuff. So, you know, it's hard to put a number on that. Although we know, you know, many people refer us. So yeah. who knows what the real number is, but it's going to be much higher than what, you know, we really got. For sure. And I think that, one thing that you've raised there, which is really, um, really important is your average repair order being eight or $900. Uh, mm -hmm. That is basically like the front end transaxion, right? So obviously right. There's, there's lifetime value and lifetime value. Yeah. With, with our system, we, as you know, we try and ensure that the CPL and that average repair order, like with the conversion rate, you're profitable on the front end. For um, sure. And yeah. that basically allows you to offset the advertising cost plus yeah i mean the you, front end yeah i can offset it with one one job you know pretty yeah. much and uh and that's just one i mean we had multiple multiple leads coming in and you know another thing i've noticed like sometimes we'd have a lead maybe they wouldn't come in right then but you know they definitely a lot of those would come in later too which might be two or three weeks later right um so okay you know, whatever we saw as a as a return on advertising, it, it was definitely more due to the fact that, you know, they're going to come in multiple times. They have multiple cars, mm. um, some that weren't come, didn't come in at that moment. 
came in a little later, you know, a couple yep. of weeks, maybe even or something like that. So I know it was much higher. For sure. Yeah. And um, and what campaigns? Well, actually, I've got a list here of the, the campaigns that I can see people yeah. targeting. Um, was like classic cars. Yeah, we did classic cars, hot rods. Um, I think we did brakes. And then we got real specific on on brands, which was key um, to, you know, keeping those like competitors. We would we would land, you know, way before competitors with just a generic um, keyword, you know. So, so yeah, it, so just to to clarify to any viewers as well, classic cars was like one one side campaign, and then with yeah. with the brakes that was targeting all kind of brake repairs for all vehicle makes. Yeah, that um, was yeah. And then we also did Subaru, Toyota. I'm just reading a list yeah. here: Subaru, Toyota, Jeep, and Ford. And that's yeah. a really interesting thing. We also did transmission as well. Uh huh. So the interesting thing is that I think the biggest problem, the biggest mistake auto shops make when running advertising on Google, for example, is they target keywords like auto shop near me, um, yeah. you know, uh, mechanic near me or auto repair yes. shop, right? And, or right. auto repair shop and then maybe location at the end, right? Los yep. Angeles, whatever. What yeah. you're bringing through is a mixed bag of leads where they could be looking for like a headlight replacement or like right. something just rel- like you just can't control. It could be a big job. Or yeah. It could be a small job, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, right. I mean, I'll take a small one, but it's much better. Like you said, on the front end to have something substantial, yeah. Um, yeah. such as a, a real job that's actually going to, you know, pay pretty decent. Sure. So- sure. And then, so what we've done, obviously with the specific campaigns, we have, we, we gain control over that initial lead, right? Yeah. So they're for sure. controlling that average repair order, like what you're saying. And I think that is, an interesting aspect of like what we do. And I think that has really helped us to to get good client results. Yeah. Yeah. I Um, think that was key to it. Yeah. And um, in terms of generating the leads, like what, what is your advice to other auto repair shops in terms of how to increase your conversion rate on them? Um, Because there's so many things you can do, right? It's, it's, you know, making sure obviously you answer the call straight away or yeah. yeah. Go on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the key. You want to, you really have to be, prepared to get these leads because they are going to come. And so you want to take every one of those and and nurture it. Um, And it doesn't really take a whole lot to do, but you will get a lot of leads. You've got to follow up on it. Yeah. So uh, that's kind (laughs) of, that was maybe the only problem I had was, um, you know, the new problem was how do I handle all these leads all of a sudden? So you kind of have to get a, a system together Yep. And can I go through them, you know, like first thing in the morning yep. and make, you know, follow up calls throughout the afternoon later on. And it makes a massive difference, right? Job. Like it it's makes a, a massive it's difference. It's a good problem. Yeah. And and I think the, <laughs> the way in which you deal with it can, can, can like double your closing rate. Basically. I agree. For so sure. It's insane. Um, yeah. And, and overall, I, now, now that you've worked with our, like now you understand how our system works and everything, what do, what would you summarize as like the main key differences between us and other agencies? Yeah. I, I think it's absolutely one-on-one. Um, I mean, obviously we're both going to succeed if, if, you know, if we get things done right and do it the right way. I think you guys have been on top of it, like every week looking at the statistics and the numbers and adjusting where you need to. That's why it became so much more defined over time. So um, there's a lot to do in a shop when you're an owner and to have this off your back is a great, um, great thing to have because there's just so many things that can go wrong during a day, just in the back end, you know, Mm. parts don't come in. Um, You just got your hands full. And Mm. on top of that, you know, dealing with trying to do the advertising yourself, not really knowing Mm you know, if you are even making a profit on it is, yeah. um, is not the way to go. I don't think, cause it's way more profitable to have somebody do it that knows what they're doing. And I know you've had a lot of experience. We've talked about that before. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, well, well, thanks for, for jumping on here, Chris and sharing yeah. your experience. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, looking forward to continuing to work with you. That yeah. sounds good. I, I look forward to it as well. Awesome. I will. Um, thanks. Waheed. Thanks, Chris.